This work analyzes the potential of different interventions to address gender imbalances. My name is Jörg Franke and this is joint work with my colleague Elna Spejori. The motivation of this project is related to the observation that there is persistent underrepresentation of female economic students at the University of Bath. So there is a need for effective evidence-based interventions and our project should deliver this type of evidence. We implemented three interventions that are based on the salience of female peer and role models and the characteristic feature of our project is to use randomized controlled trials which allows us not only to derive correlation but causality between interventions and outcomes. Our approach focuses on those female applicants that received an offer to study economics at the University of Bath, which is our target group. We are going to split this target group into a treatment and control group and then compare our outcome measure, which is the offer acceptance rates between those two groups. The first intervention is based on challenging gender stereotypes in the presentation of the placement option, which is an important feature in the economics program at the University of Bath. All of our holders are informed about this placement option in an email and we manipulated the presentation of this email in such a way that the placement option has a male connotation, as seen on the right, versus a female connotation, as seen on the left. We are then going to track whether receivers of the male versus the female connotation have differences in their offer acceptance rates. The second intervention uses the salience of female role models during applicant visit days to which all offer holders are invited. We designed those applicant visit days in such a way that some of those days are female dominated, meaning that most of the student ambassadors, but also most of the members of the department who were present on these days are female and vice versa for the male dominated applicant visit days. We are then going to analyze whether the offer acceptance rates depends on the type of applicant visit day that the student attended. The third intervention uses the salience of female peers. All offer holders are invited to have a telephone conversation with a current economic student who might be male or female. We are going to analyze whether the offer acceptance rates depends on the gender of the caller for each offer holder. The status of this project as of right now is that all interventions have been successfully conducted. We are now in the process of obtaining the data from different administrative sources and to merge the data sets and the data analysis will then allow us to design the future interventions which are planned to happen in the current application cycle. Some challenges that we face during this project is that it requires a high degree of coordination with different entities in the administration and of course COVID-19 which uh, led to some interruptions in some interventions. For those of you who are interested, I present here some related literature on similar interventions who are mostly done in the US context and would like to finish by thanking you for your support and your attention.